everybody, so today I'm going to be talking about my favorite TV shows. I noticed that I've never actually done a video about my favorite TV shows ever. In the existence of this channel, I've never done that. So I decided to do it for you guys today because you guys don't really know what I watch. Besides Outlander, because we all know that I love Outlander. If you don't, you're probably new here. Hi! Welcome, I'm Sasha and I'm obsessed with Outlander. So let's get on with the video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite TV shows and some of them are still airing, some of them sadly aren't, some of them I watch on a weekly basis and some of them I just binge watch on Netflix. So let's begin. So my favorite TV show of all times is Outlander and it is such a phenomenal TV show. It is on the Stars Network so if you do not have that premium channel you have to pay for it every month but it's so worth the price to watch Outlander or you can have Amazon Prime. I believe they stream it on there as well. And I've been watching the show ever since it first premiered last year. This is the second season it's on and it is phenomenal just like the last season. It is based off of the book Outlander by Diana Gabaldon which is also my favorite book in existence so you should read it. So Outlander Outlander is about this woman who goes back in time when she touches some standing stones in Scotland and yeah when you get transported back in time it's definitely a culture shock so she is thrust back into time and she has to you know acclimate herself to this world and she does it very very well and this is all about Claire's journey and her and Jamie's story and Jamie is a fierce Highland warrior from Scotland and is better than a nice. I love it very much I'm so obsessed and it is such a great TV show this show does have explicit content in it so be warned. Do not go into it thinking that it's all sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> no. It scars you for life. Huh. Okay, so the next TV show I watch is pretty much what everybody on this whole entire planet watches, which is Game of Thrones, which is based off of a book by George R. R. Martin. I have not read those books yet just because, you know, I just want to watch the show, enjoy the show, and once the show's over, I'll read the books. Because there's lots of, you know, heavy content in there, and I don't have the time to read the series just yet. Who knows? Maybe I will read it very soon. I never know. My TBR pile is a huge mess, but it's definitely in there. And it takes place in this world called Westeros, and these, like, warring fans families wanting to get the Iron Throne and it's crazy an amazing whirlwind of a story very intense I love it so much they do such a good job on HBO with their shows like oh the wonderful my next favorite show is the 100 which is also based off of a book but very loosely based I hear because I've not read that book either but the 100 is such a good show it's on the CW network oh huh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. The show is so phenomenal. It makes you hate and love these characters and hate them some more than love them. And then you want to tear their heads off and then you want to piece them back on and sew it up and say you're sorry. Because that's how I feel with the show right now. I want to shove it into a blender because it ticks me off so many times in the best possible way because you want to you know stop watching at certain points because you're like really really did that seriously just happen and then you're like but it really did and I cannot stop watching this show because it's like a drug you gotta keep on watching it <laughs> so good amazing it's about these a hundred kids who were sent down from the ark this huge spaceship that is up in you know space really Sasha it's up in space I would have never have guessed that I mean spaceships they're on the ground all the time. And the world had like lots of atomic bombs go off on it, so it's not safe and habitable up until this point when they send the kids down to see if it's habitable. And it's about them surviving and meeting, you know, the grounders. And it's such a good show and you end up loving the characters that you used to hate. So they do a good job of like mixing up your emotion. My next favorite show is also on the CW and it is called The Flash. I love comics, I love comic books, I love the comic book movies and TV shows, but this one is probably my all time favorite because Barry Allen, he is amazing and he can run really fast and I just love him. I love how witty he is, I love how funny he is, I love how serious he is, and how much of a hero he is. And he's a great team behind him, and I love all their storylines as well, and it's just such a great show. It's based off of the comics, and I love comics, I love all that stuff, so I really, really was pleased that DC made this into a TV show, because just good job. Good job, DC. I think that DC makes better TV shows than movies as of right now, but who knows? Suicide Squad is still coming out, so... I have high hopes for that. Very excited. Very, very excited. The next TV show was sadly canceled after the first season, so warning, if you want to go watch a show, be prepared. It's only one season. It's such a good show. I loved it. I cried when it was freaking canceled by Fox, I think that was on. Yeah. Not okay. Such a good show. It was called Terra Nova, and it takes place, like, you know, back in the dinosaur ages when humans figured out a way in the future to transport themselves back into the past because our world is dying because we effed it up. Guys, 
we need to fix the planet now if we want to survive, you know, a hundred years in the future. Like, we're screwing it up. And this kind of shows what the effects of us now are doing in the future and showing like, hey, we cannot turn this around. So we need to go create a device that transports us back into the past with the dinosaur ages. And it's so, so cool. Prehistoric ages, is that the right word? I'm not remembering right now because yeah. But it's about this family who goes travels back into time and there's a civilization over there called Terra Nova. And it's about them surviving during this time of dinosaurs and you know, all that crazy stuff. So I really, really recommend the show. I loved it. There's romance in it. There's, you know, family drama. There's other drama. There's dinosaurs. <laughs> More dinosaurs. So I really recommend you guys watch it. It's so good and sadly only one season. <laughs> the next TV show I love is The Shannara Chronicles, which is on MTV. Who knew MTV could produce such a kick-ass fantasy show? I know like, you know, Teen Wolf is on there, but literally The Shannara Chronicles are so freaking good. It's based off of a book series called The Shannara Chronicles by Terry Brooks, I believe. Yes. And oh my gosh, guys, the show is so great. It takes place in the very, very distant future where we've evolved into elves and trolls and all these different fantasy creatures so you still see our civilization in this world but it's like we're ancient we are ancient in their world and it's so crazy there's magic there's like druids oh there's witch oh my it's so good watch it and they just got approved for season two so i'm really happy and lastly my other favorite show is avatar yes avatar the last airbender which was on nickelodeon yes nickelodeon i believe so i watched it on you know amazon prime and i just watched it this past year and oh my gosh I totally binged that whole entire series with my roommates it was so so good I just love Aang and the gang and oh it's so great like I love it so much look at this Avatar team Avatar is on my wall it's just such a great animated show and don't go into it if you're like uh, I don't like anime it's not exactly anime but still Go into it and just be wholly consumed by this world. It is such a great storyline and it's so complex, but also so funny and great and just a magnificent story that is being told on the screen. I just loved it so much and uh, it empowered me. I tried to watch uh, Legend of Korra, but it just didn't grip me as much as Avatar did. I may continue watching it, who knows, but as of right now, I'm not. So yes, yeah, so those are my favorite TV shows. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you wanna see what my favorite movies are next. Let me know some of your favorite TV shows down below. So that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!